All right, how are you doing today? Today we'll be taking a look at saving chord progressions in Logic Pro's chord track. Uh, please do check out the channel. I have hundreds of other videos in my back catalog. I have a whole playlist here for Logic Pro 11 as well. All kind of videos in here. And my previous videos, I have lots of Logic Pro videos as well. But anyways, enough about that. Let's get right into this. So here we are in Logic. Right now, we have nothing going on. But I did load in um, for our, well, first of all, our chord chart here, or chord track, whatever you want to call it, we want to create. Now we have nothing right now, many ways to do this. Um, I'm going to use this program called Chordable, where I just play one key, and it creates me different chords, like so. And then we will put those into the chord track. So let's just do this. And by the way, this is a free software. There's a paid version, but I'm using the free version here. Anyways, all right. So we want to create our chord thing here. Pop that up, MIDI input, turn on. Now we have our G major seven, hit tab for the next bar. D minor seven, just do a uh, We'll do the F major seven there. And then we have like a four bar chord progression. And of course, I'm just doing this the simplest way possible right now. We could put breaks and, you know, they don't have to be right on every beat. But right now, that's how we're doing this. Let's create a software instrument here, the keyboard, session player, just with a simple pad, because that's gonna give you some nice block chords. Create, there you go. And then you do follow, paste chords from global track. And we can just get rid of this. And now we have that here. And we can just play it as such. And we could change that sound as well. We don't have to use that string sound. We can just use a simple piano or something. If you want to get rid of the bass notes, you could mute the left hand and it'll just be what it is. So the next thing here, I'm just going to drag that into our Apple Loop browser. And this is right now, it's in the key of C. So we want to keep this key the same. And we'll just put test, keyboard player, simple pad, and you can set this stuff up too. You can put a genre. I mean, there's not a real genre for this. And then I just have keyboard synth, uh, pad, whatever. And then I hit create. And it's going to be in, you have my loops here. It's going to end up in your loop section here. Here it is down here. And then we'll just drag it into Logic on a new track. And we have our chords here. Um, you have to have a blank chord chart up here if it's because it, it might change if you have chords up there already. So that's the same chords that we had before, same pattern. Now, if we're in a different key, let's first say, for example, we're in transpose it. When we drag it in, it's going to be in that key. Whatever key the song is in. And now we have a C7, G minor, so on and so forth. And there you go. Very quick way to save your chord progressions, get some Apple loops. Now when you're labeling them, you want, might want to put the numer the Nashville number system in there, or you could put the chord names too. Just obviously make sure that if you put the C chord in there, if you have it in a different key, it's gonna change keys. So yeah, pretty cool. Just a real quick way to save some chord progressions. Obviously this is very time consuming. Check out my other video here on hundreds of free plugins or plugins, hundreds of free chord progressions already built inside Logic that you can use for your songs. Song starters, get your creative juices flowing. Check that out as well. That is all for now. I will talk to, to you soon.